As you can see here, I have a list of products, very, very long lists. Actually, if we go all the way down, almost 10,000 of them. I can assure you that they are not unique. And there is more than one way of creating a unique list of values, but I'm going to show you my favorite one. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the one that is used more often. That will be going to the data tab, going here and just clicking remove the duplicates. You need to select the range, click the remove the duplicates. OK, and we just want to remove the duplicates from the product ID. We click OK. Yep, 8000 plus duplicates have been removed. Fantastic. But what do we have now? Well, now we only have a static list. So we only have the before, which we don't have now, and the after result. What we want to have is something perhaps more dynamic. So let me show you maybe how I would like to do it. If I go here, and this is the same list we had before, so we have like, again, 10,000 articles, products, so maybe. What we can do here is we can do a pivot table. What? A pivot table? A pivot table is used to summarize data, right? It's used for reporting. How can you use it to create a list? Well, you can, because if you think about it, if you need to summarize anything, you need to group it. And when you group things, well, you make those values sort of unique. You know, you won't have like group A appear twice in a report. So this is exactly what we're going to do. If I will go to insert pivot table. Yes. And we're going to take this pivot table. We're going to put it to new sheet. And I have product ID. Ta-da! And yes, this is now a unique list. Look, yeah, right, 1865. That pretty much looks like a unique list to me. And that's what I wanted to show you today, that it sometimes is very easy because, you know, if I add, let's say, another article here, to my big list and we're gonna call it I don't know X X X X X whatever right and I'm gonna go to my to my list so to say on my pivot tip I'm just gonna say I'm gonna just gonna refresh it right and I'm gonna go to the bottom look there it is of course we can remove the grand total if we want but that's not the case here the case is now I have a dynamic way of creating a list of unique values in Excel. Now, I hope you liked the tip. Tell me in the comment section what is your favorite way of creating the unique list in Excel, or perhaps you do it in a completely different way. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Consider subscribing. Have a good day.